Hello everyone, welcome back to Laser Monkey, and today I'll be breaking down Philip Weyer's 6.06 .06 European record average, which he achieved at the Swiss Cubing Cup final in December of 2018. Felix was at that comp, and he performed. He beat Felix in two out of the three rounds, and he crushed him on this average. So let's get right into the solves. Philip is a white cross only solver, so we'll be looking at white crosses only for this entire average. His cross pieces are here, 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 and here. So he's going to preserve this pair for his first F2L pair, and he's going to solve the cross pretty simply here. And while he's finishing up his cross solution, he's going to go right into this one. And since he's already mapped out how he's going to solve this one, he's now tracking for his next F2L pair, and he sees these two. So he's going to track those pieces to see how to solve them. And at this point, he knows already how to solve them. So he's going to do that. And now he's tracking his next one. He sees this corner. And he sees that none of these edges go with that corner. So it must be back here, because that's the only edge he can't see. So he solves these like this. And then he's got these two. And now a very easy one look less layer. For the second solve, the cross pieces are here, 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 and here. And you can see that these two are going to be solved relative to each other in this very simple position. And this one belongs over here. So the way he does this is he first solves these two relative to each other. Then he solves these two relative to each other, making them opposite. Then he gets both of them out of the way to finish off the cross with a D2, and then bring these both down to solve the cross. Next, he saw this pair. So he's going to insert that into the back. And then he saw this pair. So this solution is kind of complicated, and I'm not sure if it's the best solution. But if he had seen that he was setting up a cancellation into this next pair, it would have been genius. But unfortunately, instead of canceling right into that green-red pair, he fumbled a little bit and then noticed. And for this last pair, he just inserts it like this, not worrying about edge orientation. Not clear if that's the best, but, you know, he does 10 TPS all the time, so there's not much time to think. OLL and PLL. For the third solve, his cross pieces are here, 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 and here, and the pair he's solving is the red-blue pair. So he's going to solve his cross while setting up this red-blue pair. So he solves them pretty simply, just like this. Similar idea to before. And then he's got these two, so he's going to do UW prime to set himself up to solve these two. Then he, solved, he saw this one, so he's going to do that one. Then he sees these two. Probably didn't go for these two just because the execution was a little bit more complicated, and this one is all RU moves. And then he solves these two. Easy OLL. And then a terrible PLL. But he does it quick. The fourth solve has the easiest white cross yet. So you've got these two that are solved relative to each other, just a D2 away. This one, and then this one. So this is a pretty easy cross solution, and he just does it in the most straightforward way. And then he probably saw this in inspection, and he goes for this pair first. And he solves it in a way that actually sets up this pair, which is pretty nifty. So then he solves that pair. Then he goes for these two.
not rotating, very nice, and then these two. A very quick TPS optimized solution, OLL and PLL. For the fifth solve, his cross pieces are here, 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 and here. So he's got a pretty easy setup here with a free pair. So he does them very logically. And then here he's got a dream. He's got this one, which is free, which also happens to set up this one. But for some reason, he doesn't do this right away. Maybe he saw this whole thing in advance and thought, okay, I can do this one, and I already know what's going on here, so that gives me more time to find the last pair. Or he just didn't see this. Uh, it's hard to tell. But he solves this quickly. And then goes right into this too, as I'm sure by now he's definitely seen it. And then the last two are set up pretty poorly, but, you know, he'll solve them. And here I think he gets into some sort of, he saw some ghosts or something, or he got nervous, because he really should just insert this pair and finish the solve. But instead, he, uh, he did some, some weird stuff. I don't know what that was about, maybe trying to avoid a terrible OLL, but he still got a pretty bad OLL, so it didn't really work out. This was the last solve of his average, and if he had gotten 6.25 or lower, he would have had a sub-6. And if he had gotten a 5.6 or low, 5.68 or lower, he would have broken the world record at the time, which was 5.8. So he was pretty nervous on this solve and some understandable slip-ups, but still very impressive. Getting your PB single on the first solve, first sub-5, and then staying focused, staying cool, and finishing off those last four solves with basically perfect 10 P TPS on every single solve, except for the last one, which is when he kind of got nervous. But yeah, that's about it for my breakdown of Philip Weyer's 6.06 .06 European record average. Will he break it soon? Maybe. We'll stay tuned. Is White Cross optimal? Probably not, but for these scrambles, definitely. This is Laser Monkey, out.